Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see problems on projection of coin. In your examination, they will be giving uh, like these 10 to 12 points. Previous video, I have clearly explained the concept of projection of points and also gave shortcut for solving the problem. So just if, the, if you haven't seen, means just have a look at the video and then try to solve this problem. It will be very easy for you. So draw the projection for following points. They will be giving like eight, in this question I have taken 8 points. In an examination they will be giving 8 to 10 points or 20 marks. Take 20, 30 mm between each projection. That is between each point we have to keep a distance of 30 mm. If they give third, if they give the distance means you keep that distance. If they haven't given means take approximately 20 mm distance between each projector. That is between point A and point B. So first question is Point A is 20 mm in front of VP and 25 mm above HP. So this is the shortcut for plotting the projection of points. As I said before, try to draw this XY line and try to draw these four lines and write A dash A, A dash A, A dash A alternatively. Then write HP VP, HP VP, HP VP alternatively. Then write above, in front of, below, behind and write Lyson, Lyson. If we have this shortcut, it will be very easy for you for solving the n number of points which they give. So first question is, point A, point A is 20 mm in front of EP. If, if it's in front of EP means it has to be lying below the XY line and 25 mm above HP. So above HP means above. So A dash should come above and A should be, be coming below distance they have given clearly so you have to draw a dash so just mark here a dash 25 mm above x y line and uh, just mark 20 20 mm below x y line so this is a clearly given in front of means you have to draw below the next question is point b yeah point b is 20 mm Point B is 20 mm above HP and lies on VP. So point, uh, just see here, if it's above HP means you have to draw above XY line. If it's lies on VP means we have to draw on the line, on the VP itself. Lies on VP means you have to mark like this. So that's why they have shown like, uh, you have to mark B point on XY line it's itself and you have to mark v dash above means you have to mark uh, above the x y line so see here above hp means you have to mark like this if it's lies on means you have to mark on the x y line itself and it's a and it's a dash just see it clearly then point c is 25 mm in front of ab in front of ab means you have to mark downwards and uh, lies on hp lies on hp means a dash so c dash should be on x y line and c should be below x y line at a distance of 25 mm. Uh, dimensioning, I will be telling at the end of the completion of this question. Uh, this is x y line, this is a reference line. For first angle projection, we will be having VP, vertical plane above and horizontal plane below. And we will be getting the front view on vertical plane and top view on horizontal plane. So this concept also I clearly explained. Next is point D. Point D is 25 mm behind VP. If it's behind VP means, just see here, behind means it, behind VP. This is behind VP. It should be above x y line and we have to mark A. In our case, it's D right. So we have to mark D. And uh, 20 mm above HP. Even that also, 20 mm above HP is also above x y line only. So you have to mark both the points above x y line. Just see the distance around. So one will be 25 and one will be 20. So first mark 25 mm above and then mark 20 mm above. So D dash D. The next point is E. Next point you are given. Uh, next point is E. So E is point E is 25 mm behind VP. Behind VP means you have to mark like this. Behind this above. <coughs> behind VP. And lies in HP. Lies in HP means you have to mark on the XY line itself. So point E. Just see here point E. Uh, e dash will be lying on XY line itself. And E will be lying 25 mm above. 
because in question they have clearly given 20 mm behind EP. So next is point F. Point F is 30 mm below HP. Below means here. It should be downwards below X Y below HP and it's A dash so it's F dash. So F dash you have more 30 mm below and 30 mm in front of EP. In front means here. In front of EP. So you have to mark F dash in front of EP. So below HP they are given right. Yeah, okay. Next is point G. So point G is 30 mm below HP. So below HP means here you have to mark down. So 30 mm you have to mark down. And next point, uh, next point is 30 mm in front of AP. So for 30 mm in front also below only. So that's why you are getting two points. So this point will be belonging to both G as well as G dash. Just mark all the all the points with the help of the shortcuts. So last point is point that should be lying both on HP and VP. So automatically it will be lying on XY line only, right? So this point will be lying on XY and it's uh, belong to H and H tag. Just try to mark like this and this 30 mm. See here, this 30 mm uh, in beginning itself, there is, uh, I, I have forgotten to tell. The 30 mm between each projected means between A and B you have to leave 30 mm distance. Between B and C you have to leave 30 mm. Likewise, you have to leave for all. Between C and D, you have to leave a distance of 30 mm. That's the meaning of the distance between the projectors. If they give in question means just mark that distance. If they haven't given, if they haven't given given means, then try to leave a minimum of 20 mm distance. So try to use this shortcut and solve n number of problem when they give. And next question is sometimes they will be giving the figure, whatever diagrams you plotted. So we have plotted here, right? So this is the diagram. And dimensioning part, try to understand that. Uh, this is the extension line. The extension line should be 1 mm away from the point and the arrowhead should be short pointer and we have to write a number vertical breaking the dimensioning line. So these things holds good. Whatever I thought, just try to do as it is, which we followed in previous cases. Uh, only thing is uh, when you are dimensioning, try to dimension either on left or right. In this diagram, I have dimensioned all the points for dimensioning I took left side. Try to take like that. If you want to take left, left this, see here. For this point, this is left. So likewise, you have uh, dimension all the points to the left side of the point. So keep that in mind and try to represent very neatly. <coughs> and second question is sometimes they will be giving the giving your diagram itself. That is, they will be giving the diagram and they will be asking us to write the wordings. <coughs> so see here, figure shows the position of different points. Determine the position of points. Now we're going to determine the position of P, Q, R like that. And the distance marked in MM. And one more thing is, uh, here we have to write uh, all dimensions are in MM and scale 1 is to 1. In your A3 sheet, just write the heading as projection of point and plot all the points and write all dimensions are in MM, scale 1 is to 1. The height of the text will be 5 MM. So with the help of the shortcut, try to uh, try to write for all the points. After you writing in, just take it as an assignment or a homework. After with the help of the uh, shortcut, if you write means you will be you will be uh, writing like this in wordings. And height of the text is not that much importance. Try to uh, write it very legibly. That's enough. So you have to write like point P is 33 mm behind the P and 20 mm below HP. So previously we saw they give these wordings and we plotted a diagram. Sometimes they will give the diagram and they will be asking us the word. I hope everyone would have understood. If you have any doubt, mean just type in the comment section and do subscribe to my channel Mechanical Motivator and press the bell icon. Then only you will be getting all the videos which I upload. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.